to understand color you should know that every color on a computer screen is created by the mixing amount of red green and blue which we have explained and we have we have actually uh, done some practicals on them okay you can also use a color picker in case you don't know a specific a, any specific color in mind you can use the color picker i use the color let me explain what color picker is so i want to explain the color picker assuming i come to this particular red okay and i do not know any specific color i'll just be playing around okay my palette my color palette when i start playing around my color palette you see whilst i'm moving around you can see that the value of the hex code is changing okay you can see it's changing i can decide to come if i want a bit of green i can come here okay then the more i go to the top right corner the deeper the green the more i go off it the lighter okay so i can just also do this if i want a bit of pink or an orange i'll just be mixing them up and i have this also to play to play around with so if i choose a particular color i have to see the color at the top there and then if i want to settle on it i use the color picker choose the color i want so in this instance i'm choosing yellow i can go up and get a deeper yellow okay then it will be the color that i've chosen for now you see it's showing here i will have to save the file you see it's telling me i've not saved it so let me just save it and show you the changes we've made on our second level header okay let me go into my browser right now and then refresh it you see so now it has given it a different background color of yellow which we use the color picker in what in choosing okay so that's the color picker let's continue with our slide okay so we can choose the color picker as you see it here computer monitors are also made up of millions of tiny squares called pixels actually pixel is also an acronym which stands for picture element pix which stands for the picture and el which stands for element that is that means any amount of a picture you see or anything you see on a screen or any monitor has a lot of pixels some tiny tiny boxes okay which represent pixels so the more you zoom in okay the more you see them okay so you have some phones that can take pictures that are 12 megapixel 24 megapixel 64 megapixel so it depends on the amount of pixels okay that's so monitors are able to render pictures or any any form of graphic into pixels when the screen is not turned on let's say when your screen is off okay when your screen is off it becomes black why is it black because it's not emitting any light but the moment you turn it on each pixel can be in a different color just as you see a lot of color you see, you see black here you see an orange color you see background color of black you see you see all this white color these blue blue colors we see all of them are can be what can be categorized into smaller and then tiny squares called pixels that creates a very very beautiful picture that we always see okay the color of every pixel on the screen is expressed in terms of what the RGB just like we explained okay our television screens also also explains uh, how the RGB works every color at all can be expressed by the mixture of little little amount of what of RGB okay color picking tools are also available in image editing programs like Photoshop like GIMP in fact even on MS Paint okay you can see color picking tools you can also use the rgb values specified next to the rgb okay or the hex code provided next to the pound or hash or you can also go to color 
schemedesigner.com. Let me explain using an, an image editing program which is Paint, MS Paint. Now, this is MS Paint, uh, an image editing software, okay, which can we can use to easily explain what I mean by the color picking tools. So let me just go to edit colors, okay. For instance, I don't, I want to use a color, but I'm not too specific. I don't know the amount of red, the amount of green, the amount of blue a color has, and I don't see it in the in the palette here. I can just go to either edit colors, just like I explained earlier. You can see you the RG the RGB around this area, so you can just be manipulating it okay you can just be manipulating it to see the amount of red or the amount of green or the amount of blue gives you a so this is the color we are trying to mix okay to pick so you can just come if you want a lighter color we'll go up okay so let's say we come to green and we want a lighter green so we we we'll move up the ladder. If we want a deeper green, we come down the ladder. Okay. So as we are missing, you can see that the RGB is also moving. Okay. We also come to what HSL later. I will use the same tool to explain HSL. Okay. So back to our our slide. What is HSL? Which is hue saturation. And brightness okay hue simply means color hue okay it's just the 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 meaning of color okay technically speaking a color can also have saturation and brightness as hue okay as it hue and when we say saturation it's just the amount of gray in a color at maximum saturation there would be no gray in color that means that the more the saturation the lesser the gray in the color and then the minimum saturation the color will mostly be gray in color that means if you want more gray in the color we go down we reduce the saturation if we want less gray we increase the saturation what about brightness when we say brightness it simply refers to how much black is in a color. Brightness comes with how black something is. The maximum brightness, there would be what? No black. If we, if there's a picture and we want to brighten the picture, that means that we are trying to reduce the, num, uh, the amount of black in a particular picture. So the higher the brightness, the lower the black. And then the lower... Or the minimum brightness gives us the higher black in the color. That is the difference between hue, saturation, and brightness.